Hi, so this week or for Woven Wednesday we're going to be featuring another carry and this is a really great carry to do with a newborn or if you feel like baby needs a wee bit of extra head support, if you're doing something that requires a lot of bending over and you have to support baby's head or if you just want something with a bit more head support. So the great thing about this carry is it starts off the same way as you would do a normal front wrap cross carry. I've not spread the passes here just for showing you what's going to happen. Um, but you're going to start off with the middle marker in the middle of baby's neck and your passes crossed over your back and round and tied as normal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to undo our knot and I'm just wanting to make sure that I keep that tension so I don't let any slack in here. If you need to, you can go ahead and tighten up again um, if you feel you need to. So I'm going to take one of my tails and pin it between my legs. So I'm going to have my knot on this side, but you can have it on either side. So both of my tails are exactly the same length at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring one round and it's going to go across as a wee sausage behind baby's neck and tuck in the other side. So I'm going to be working with this one. So I'm keeping the tension at all times. If you let go, then all of that slack is going to go around and your whole carry is going to end up slack. So you want to keep the tension. So I've passed it to my other hand, but I'm keeping it nice and tight. So it's coming from my shoulder down to baby's knee pit, under the bum to the other knee pit and up next to the other one that's coming down the opposite shoulder. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm keeping the tension, I'm bringing it round and I'm making just a half knot. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure all any slack has gone down and round and nice and tight. So I've got a half knot in here. Then I'm just going to spread the fabric out a wee bit and bunch it up, binding my hem. Okay. So I'm just bunching, gathering it up so it sits nice and it's not too diggy. I'm bringing it across behind baby's neck and then you can either go under or over. So I'm going over and under and come to the bottom. It can go over the top, whatever you like. I'm going over and under and I'm just pulling through the tail just to make sure that's nice and secure. So you don't want to have this too tight to restrict baby. You want to still be able to get a couple of fingers in behind baby's neck so it's not too tight, so it's not pressing them directly against you. But it offers that wee bit of head support that you want. So with this other tail that was behind my leg, between my legs, I'm going to bring it behind me. Here, if you like, you can use both hands to spread it out. So I'm spreading it out holding it with my opposite hand and just gathering it up. Just gives you an extra wee bit of support across your back. And then I'm going to work through and I'm going to tuck it onto this tail again. So I'm going over and under. I'm just pushing it through, trying to keep that tension and let it go down. So you'll have both tails hanging down. So this is just going down past my waist. If I wanted to, I could bring it back round and tuck it in here. I'm quite happy with it there. And this is an Anne's front carry, which gives you that extra wee bit of head support, making sure your knot is up horizontal level with the top of the wrap, that baby neck. And then that'll get you your support going right across. Again, making sure it's not covering baby's head, it's just sitting behind the neck. So you're gonna try this one. Let us know below. Post a wee picture and show us that you tried it out and watch out for next week's carry.